And Fox and Park Soda is teaming up with Thimble Island Brewery for a new line of hard sodas. Marcy Jones is live at the brewery to see how it all came together. Hey, Marcy, how are you? Hi there. I'm absolutely amazing because it's only been five minutes since I talked to you and I already picked up another man. Look at that. Classic me. I am here with Mike. We've got Justin and Jay. This is an awesome collaboration between Fox and Park and Thimble Island Brewing Company. All right. So, Mike, you're the newest, so obviously we get to harass you first. Tell me a little bit about this collaboration and really it sold itself. Yeah, no, we're really excited about this partnership with uh, Jay and Fox and Park. Um, you know, it's been really tough to kind of make, you know, keep up with the demand. Yes, um, you know. I know. You're sold out currently. Much more product is in the work. Right in front of us, we have the cream soda. Do yeah. you have a favorite? Uh, my favorite, personally, is the white birch. Okay, um, I've been, uh, nice. I've been a fan of Fox and Park's white birch for a long time. Yeah. So having the, the hard option is, is great. Yes. You know, it's, it kind of sounds almost, almost like nostalgic. You know, when you were younger, you were enjoying the, the soft soda, and now you get the and hard And now option. that we've grown up and have a very nice full beard, we get to enjoy the hard stuff, right? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to talk to you later about your beard oil. I have a few people that we could recommend it to. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about... Nicole asked a very good question. So how did we make this go from kind of a kid-friendly soda to an adult beverage? How did we do that? Well, it was definitely a process for us. We definitely had to spend a little bit of time on it. But basically what we're doing, I think, as I, I, we might have mentioned before, is that we have to ferment a uh, alcohol base uh, right. with cane sugar, right? So we do that, and we do it at a very high range of around 15%. It's something that's known as a sugar wash, something you would typically use to distill to maybe make like vodka or gin with. Okay. So we get up to this high alcohol content, and then what we do is we blend it down with uh, reverse osmosis water because mm -hmm. we don't want any additional mineral content and it also kind of just helps take off some of the edge of the alcohol flavor which is pretty critical so you don't get like a burning sensation from yes. it. And then from there, we, we mix it with a, um, a certain amount of sugar and things, which we had to do a lot of adjustments with that in the process versus how uh, Jay does it at Fox and Park. And then we blend it in what I call the secret sauce and the rest of their formulation to get it to the proper flavor. Absolutely incredible. And, and from there, just so folks know, it's like um, it is, uh, it's gluten-free. Okay. Uh, that's important. Good to know. It's, yeah. it's, uh, there's no malt products in this. It's, well, next, we'll, we'll get the cans adjusted, so it does say that next okay. time. And, um, we do pasteurize the product as well to give it some good shelf stability. Oh, good to know. And we can't ignore the fact that we're in your beautiful space here. I know everybody keeps saying it's so cold right now, but the patio gets lit. Tell us a little bit about, you know, the vibe here when everybody is coming in, flowing. You guys yeah, have a lot so, of fun events going sure, on. Yeah, so just, so just a little history on Thimble Island. I've been in business, I think, about 12 or 13 years at this point. Uh, and, you know, we, we've been we've made probably well over 150 different beer styles. We have about 15 to 16 different staples that are out in the market at all times. Uh, where we are today, this is um, our manufacturing facility, but also our on-site brew pub and restaurant. So if you've never been to our yeah. facility, uh, we make great food. Everything is made from scratch. Wow. Um, just a little bit of th uh, history here. Like uh, my family actually owned a bakery in town for a number of years. And, okay. and they retired. And I actually have my fire father under retirement working for me, doing all my bread. So and he's rolls. not really retired. Really we got to give but... a shout out to hard work and dad breaking yeah. his back to supply the son with the baked goods. Yeah. What kind of stuff does he give you? Well, he's doing he's doing all my rolls and things at this point. Very nice. uh, I think it's a critical thing from a food perspective that we get uh, you know something that's a little more unique but of course. all of our stuff is uh, scratch made fresh made our wow. our beef is it makes locally such a sourced big difference. yeah our beef is it comes from a good friend of mine uh, Jonathan Page owns Salt Marsh Farms and uh, it's all grass fed beef that we uh, we we, we, we love that local grain. community yeah. aspect and really that's what it's all about especially after all we've been through the last couple of years everybody wants to come together have a good time yeah. and enjoy a really amazing product yeah and I just just another quick thing is just that you know I'm real proud to be partners with uh, Jay in this venture. Yes, um, Jay. You know, it's just it, it, Fox, yes. Fox, <laughs> Fox and Park is a hundred year plus iconic brand. Yes. And I think it's critical that, you know, trust is like kind of paramount in these type of relationships. And, you know, Jay and I have been working together for a couple of years at this point, and I, I am proud that uh, we are doing this together. And I, I see a lot of great things happening in the future with us. Awesome. We can't wait. So can, can we reveal anything about maybe the next flavor or what we could look forward to or anything? I, you know, yeah. I... Ah. Jay, come on. I, You've got loose lips. I, I would say maybe something fruity this time, but I don't know. That, oh, that's, that's I don't know. I love how you, like, dropped a bottom and then you're like, wait, what was that? I don't know. Fruity? That's really cool. I like that tease. We won't hold you to it, but if we see something fruity on the market in the next couple of months, that would be awesome. Thank yeah. you guys so much. Thank and you. when Thank do you. we think that we might be able to get... So about two to three weeks. So okay. right now we are waiting on cans. And just so you know why we're waiting on cans, uh, this product is too beautiful and nice that we are not going to yeah. slap a label. No, we can't just sacrifice on. quality. No, so not quality here. is paramount. We want this can to look nice, presented properly, so we're not going to put a label on it. we got to yeah. get the right cans.
So I love it. They'll be in a couple weeks. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. We had a blast today, guys. Everyone's going to have to get their hands on these cans. Incredible. All right, hands on the cans. Love it, Marcy. <laughs> have a great day. Yep. <laughs> All right.